Hey guys, what's up? Good evening. So a couple of you have reached out to me to ask me um, what are relevant certif certifications or where should you get certified in order to become a programmer? I, I'm just going to give my opinion on what I know about the subject because uh, I'm not an expert, like I'm not a hiring manager and um, the only thing I can do is tell you, you know, certifications and things like that that I've heard of and offer my advice. So um, that said, I, I would welcome any sort of feedback from the community and hopefully somebody that actually knows what they're talking about that actually uh, is in the trenches and they're getting hired or they're hiring people. Um, with these certifications, um, I will tell you that I, I've spoken to a manager at Raytheon um, who was stating that they you know, were very, very interested in, in some of the AWS certifications um, as well as, um, as uh, the, co the company Capital One. Uh, they were also very interested in, in uh, certifications as well. So um, if I could take a moment just to say that I think certifications are going to be, become uh, much more important than, than they have in the past. Um, technology, it's always changed at such a rapid clip, but um, we obviously know that there are developers out there that, that can program just as well as, as others uh, that have degrees. So if you have a degree or you don't, um, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're a, you're a great programmer. Um, but having certifications, it, it does somewhat, you know, solidify the fact that, that you do know, uh, you know, a little bit about the subject, you know, a specific focus subject. Um, so that said, I think that, you know, um, some of the things that I talk about uh, in this video, it's, um, you know, it's interesting. And I think this, you know, this dynamic is changing and uh, we don't really know where the market is. And, and I'm going to get into it, just a few things, um, you know, that, that could end up uh, you know, changing the way that this market works. But we obviously know from the past that, that programmers um, and, and programming companies that they focus a lot on, on college degrees, but um, not every company does. And um, I would continue to, I would think that we would continue to see that um, in, in the industry. Uh, though by, by and large, I think you're going to have a much easier time with a degree than without one, but certifications would certainly help. Uh, so the most uh, most popular one that I know of, like I said, is uh, is AWS certification because so many companies are using Amazon's AWS. Um, even some of the largest companies that you wouldn't expect are backing up their data uh, on AWS clouds and stacks. And um, to be honest, I've been working with Linode for quite some time. But if I didn't, I would probably pay the premium for AWS just because it's uh, it is so such a popular option. Um, so being AWS certified is uh, is our, arguably the most sought after certification that I know of on this list of, uh, of products that I'm going to mention. Uh, and another thing too is I want to also say that I don't have every product out there. In fact, this video would probably be boring as hell and very long if I mentioned every single certification that was out there. Um, so definitely an AWS certification is uh, is one of the top ones that I know about. Um, now, the MCSD uh, certification that Microsoft offers, that is something that is also highly sought after in the .NET ecosystem. So if you're going to be uh, developing in you know, IIS or any sort of Azure, uh, there, there's all kinds of certifications that you can learn about. Um, the MCSD, though, is definitely the most popular option that I know of on, uh, that Microsoft has at the moment. Um, so being certified in that, I think, would most certainly give you uh, you get your foot in, into the door um, at a lot of Microsoft shops. So, um, you know, one or the other, AWS or MS, uh, MCSD, th those are the two most important ones that I could, you know, drill down, I think. Um, now, the, the next couple that are really the next one I'm going to mention is the uh, CISSP certification uh, or CIS certification, if I can say that right. Um, this has been around for quite a long time and it deals with network security. Um, so it's actually a very important thing for a lot of engineers that, that need to be up to date with, with, uh, with, with security issues. And we've talked about, you know, all the hacking and the internet of things and, and how, like, I feel like it's not going to be able to take off without actually getting some of this hacking under control. But, um, you know, this is a, an industry that is going to constantly be evolving and having certifications and some of the latest ones in, in network security. Um, is going to be extremely important. Um, so one of the things I did want to mention is that the, the uh, CISP certification that I'm mentioning right now, um, there are multiple different ones. Some, there's some newer ones out there. Um, so I just mentioned one of the most popular that, that I know of, but I know that there are additional ones out there that uh, focus on different areas. Um, some focus more on data and some focus on uh, networking and things like that. Um, the 
the question was raised more towards the programming end of the spectrum and not like network uh, engineers or, or network uh, uh, what I call like cable jockeys um, or not really I call them that but I've heard them called cable jockeys but uh, you know, if you're running networks and routers and things like that, there's going to be other you know, Cisco certification programs that you're going to want to look into that I didn't mention here, but this is more for the programming side of things. Um, so you'll continue to see a lot of network and, uh, or in, and data and engineering certifications related to cybersecurity, and it's definitely in high demand. All right, so one of the high demand ones is this... Um, Certified in Governance of Enterprise IT. So this is, um, I, I've read one of the highest paid certifications and the website looks like shit by the way, um, but this website is not necessarily related to this specific certification. It's just a uh, an organization that deals with certifications. But um, they, if you get certified in something like this, there's no question you're going to be able to find a job somewhere. I'm not sure if there's going to be any sort of prerequisites and I'm not uh, even 100% sure whether or not this just applies to to um, you know, government uh, and government type positions. But uh, from what I've read online that this is the most high, highest paying certification on average uh, for companies that are looking for this certification, you know, like by uh, their average salary um, is much higher than, than other, uh, other certifications that I've already mentioned, although there's probably not as many opportunities, uh, you know, because it's a it's a relatively, um, I would say it's a, it, it not uncommon, but it's not as widely uh, known or used as I would say AWS or or Microsoft certification. Now a couple of other things that spring up um, a lot of a lot of websites out there are doing the certifications and things like that for courses like you have uh, Lynda.com and Pluralsight and a lot of these different things that you can do to get certified. Even Skillsoft has some stuff, but. Uh, I don't. I, I would. I, I guess I would be. I would be wary of, of spending too much time in those programs. Um, if you truly want to get your foot in the door and make sure you're getting your money's worth out of some of this stuff, because uh, some of these these certifications can cost four and five hundred dollars, um, and you have to pass them too, and they're not going to be easy. So, uh, you know, be wary of. I think the easy certifications and things like that. Uh, they, they they don't really offer a whole lot. Um, and time will tell whether or not you know their 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 offering you know, lives up to it. So uh, it's tough. So if, if something's only been around for a year or two years or even three uh, or four, it's probably not had enough time to get its foot into the door of the industry uh, to make a name for itself. So it's it's difficult to say you know how well these things will pan out. But um, like Google Developer Certification, so Google still has its own cloud um, cloud options and things like that. So you know being a Google Developer Certified is always a, a big deal. Um, so you can check out more, and I have links for all these certifications in the description below. Uh, but and once again, these are all just um, you know my own personal thoughts. Salesforce. Uh, a lot of companies are using Salesforce for a lot of their their business and development needs. So if you have a company that's using Salesforce, then you're gonna you're gonna want to be Salesforce certified. Uh, it's gonna help you be able to land that that Salesforce job. Um, so if, if this is something that you know, I would say if if it's a company that you're interested in and you feel like um, you have a shot at that company um, by getting certified in uh, you know, through Salesforce University here, then I think that uh, that is a, an option worth mentioning. And I also want to mention that uh, there are many different products out there similar to Salesforce, which is a product, a software as a service product. Uh, there are many of those products out there that will offer their own certifications, like even analytics software, you know, Adobe-based software, Google, um, you know, for their products like Google Analytics. I mean, you can get certified in some of these different these products and um you know i guess I, I would be you know i would be cautious on on how many you try to go after because you know these certifications can be a bitch to obtain but um i would i would focus on some of the more popular ones first but you know definitely if you feel like you can knock out a certification in a weekend for a job that you apply to that i think it would it would definitely help um, now there's also database certification. So Oracle is one of the database leaders, and and uh, really Larry Ellison is one of the reasons why he's one of the richest people in the entire world. Um, you know, it's because of his DB2 database systems, and um, you know, being being Oracle, uh, Oracle certified, there are definitely a lot of different Oracle certifications out there. Oracle is uh, is the owner of Java, uh, Java language, and um, you know they obviously have uh, solutions there, but uh, there, there's there's a, uh, the 
the hell was I going to call it? I forget the name of their, their database system that's so much, that's so popular. Either way, um, go check out Oracle University. If, you, if you're looking for database certifications, you're probably not going to get anything be better than that. Um, so definitely check that out. Now, one of the things that I was mentioning that, that uh, you know, it's, it's going it, to, it's something that's relatively new. And like I said, it's, it's a little bit difficult to gauge the market on it. Um, and that is, uh, I'm, I'm mentioning a coding bootcamp, which is my sponsor, the sponsor of this video, uh, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp from Provo, Utah. Um, they have 12 and 16 week courses that actually focus on modern UI technology, modern front end technology, and and, uh, and really full server side technology when it comes to Node.js. But um, a lot of different a lot of different uh, you know booting coding boot camps are, are popping up that that have this entire you know, twelve week, sixteen week mentality of trying to just literally teach the the latest skills that are that are in demand like right now. Um, so those skills are are changing. They're they're being switched out. Um, these certifications that you end up getting from your boot camp, um, they're they're aimed to get your foot in the door. Um, so once again, I would be wary of you know different boot camps out there. Now Dev Mountain, you know they have. Um, you know, they, they've been around the block for a long time. They, you know, they have quite a bit of, uh, of resources behind them, uh, including their parent company, I believe. But um, with uh, with Dev Mountain, just make sure you're doing your your proper review and analysis of the different boot camps that are out there because they are springing up all over the place. Uh, but you can see in Dev Mountain, um, and if you look on their their reviews, you know, from around the community, even on Quora and things like that, they're relatively. Um, highly rated so you can see that they're dealing with react and jquery and angular js and node.js which is like really the common stuff and also git and github most websites and are really uh web web shops are using git um, so they're focusing on those things and and trying to make sure that people have a, a, a major understanding of that so um i've talked to hiring managers that, that deal with coding boot camps and um you know they say coding boot camps are a relatively new thing um, you know, having some programming background with a coding bootcamp is, is very sought after. Um, but this one hiring manager I talked to, he said he's a little skeptical of, of boot camps without some of the back end technology or back end programming expertise. But, um, you know, basically a programmer that might have been in, um, you know, Java for the longest time who gets, you know, some sort of developer bootcamp to learn Node.js and JavaScript. Like he would obviously feel a little bit more comfortable with that. But I think that goes without saying. Um, you know, the, the boot camps, uh, they're certainly popular, they're springing up all over the place, they're in Canada, United States, and um, time will, will truly tell, you know, how well the industry accepts them, but I think that I would be willing to bet that, that they're going to continue to grow in popularity. Now, another certification is like a uh, website certification. So you can go to Coursera, and um, I mean, they have courses on Python, big data, all this different stuff. Uh, problem is, is their certifications are not free. So even though they, you know, they offer the, the course and the lectures for free, they're not really catered specifically towards you. So they're not going to be nearly as one on one as a, as a boot camp or anything like that. But you do get to, you know, print off your certification. I've already seen people update their LinkedIn profiles and stuff like that with their, their Coursera cert their certificates. And uh, in some ways, it can be a little bit misleading because you see a certificate with Yale, you think, oh, damn, this dude went to Yale, you know, but uh, the fact of the matter is, is having a course that's offered by Yale on Coursera doesn't mean that you went to Yale or that you have a Yale-based education. Um, so in some ways, uh, you know, be cautious of that. Just because you have your name on a Yale certificate doesn't mean you went to Yale. So um, those are really my thoughts on the subject. And I'm like, once again, I'm welcoming you guys' uh, feedback on this because I'd like to know where you guys stand and, and what you've seen in the industry and the market as well. And again, I didn't want to get too much into like network security systems or A-plus certifications and things like that that have been around for a long time. There's so many certificates, and this, this video would be an hour long uh, at, the, at the very least. Uh, but I can talk more about this uh, in the future if you guys are interested. But um, these are just, once again, my thoughts. So let me know what you think, and make sure you subscribe, vote up the video, and take care. Bye.